Well, hi there, and welcome to another Townhouse Tales. So, I'm really excited about this project <laughs> that I'm starting today. So, I've been working on voiceovers for some of my videos, and we have a closet underneath the stairs, and we weren't really sure what we were gonna do with it, and then I got to thinking about it, and I'm like, this would actually make like the perfect recording booth. So, I've been using it as a recording booth, but I, <laughs> let me show you what I've been doing. I've literally been using like our uh, outdoor cushions that we have stored here for the meantime, because it's obviously the middle of winter right now, as like sound barriers. And so you can see I have a bunch of them back in there. I have this one here that I kind of put up against the door. And then I have this random foam that I've saved for this purpose. Eventually I kind of thought I might do something like this and uh, I, I have it. So I just kind of have it lined up against the wall. So I thought, okay, I've recorded like two days worth of stuff in here. Um, or I've been recording for a couple days in here and I'm like, okay, this is working out really well. And so I'm going to go ahead and actually convert this into a real recording booth. So I have this like little desk here and I have my laptop and then I record everything right here. It's working really well, but the walls and everything here still provide a little bit of an echo. And so I'm like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. So I bought these sound panels online and I'm gonna go ahead and line all the walls and the door and all that kind of stuff with these. They are self-adhesive here. So it should be a pretty quick, easy project. You just peel these off and then you stick them on the wall. Um, they had pretty good reviews as far as people saying they stick really well. If they don't though, I did also buy some Gorilla two-sided tape. So I'll put it on. Um, I'm gonna put some on the walls in here. Hopefully the ceiling, although the ceiling is textured, so we'll see how well that works out and then on the back of this door. And then it's nice because all these cushions and stuff will be off the floor in here. So I can, whenever I need to record voiceovers, which is something I'm planning on doing a lot more with a lot of my videos coming up soon, with the uh, Europe videos I just finished, um, with the Egypt videos, with all kinds of videos moving forward, I'm planning on doing it a lot more. So I can write all the scripts, everything, come down here, hit record and start recording instead of setting up a whole big thing every time I do it. So I'm really excited to have this space set aside. It is the perfect use for this space. Let's get to work on this. Alrighty, I am almost done. I re I did this whole thing in, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. It didn't take all that long. So it's all done on the walls. I got it on the door here as well. I am currently trying out, because I have enough panels here, on the ceiling. But again, because it's textured, I don't know how well it's going to stick. So I'm going to just leave it up there for a little bit, see if those don't come down. If they don't, then I'll put it on the ceiling here as well. Um, and that will really soundproof uh, the entire thing. Since this is at an angle here, I cut a few, um, and it actually worked out pretty well because like the one I cut here, the other part ended up fitting here. So I have a few more to do on the other side here as well because um, it's just where the, uh, the cutouts were. And I wasn't really going to worry about it, but I thought I've got enough panels, so I may as well go ahead and do them. But uh, already, I don't know how well it's going to pick up on the, the iPhone microphone, but already when I'm in here, it sounds like completely soundproof. It's insane. <laughs> it's so cool. I've always wanted to do something like this, and this is kind of the perfect thing. Obviously, like I said, eventually the plan is to rent out this place or sell it or whatever, um, and so this will be interesting in five years from now or ten years from now, however long it is until we get to that point. Um, it'll be curious whether I just leave it there, whether I take it down, maybe the next person... <laughs> <laughs> rents out from us will also end up needing some sort of soundproof room. Uh, anyway, so that's a problem for me in five years from now. For now, I'm really excited about this and it's going to be such an awesome use of that space. I am, I know I keep saying I'm excited, but I'm really excited. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so I have a little bit more work to do. I'm going to try and do up those little uh, few angles there and then try and look at the ceiling area and then I'm going to be done. I actually have a few uh, remaining voiceovers to record this afternoon. So I'll try it out in here, here in a little bit when I'm all done. All right, it is officially done. It took me like no time at all. So I went ahead and put these stuff on the ceiling here as well because the pieces I had up there stuck really well. So I'm going to let them sit. Hopefully it will, uh, They'll stay up there, and like I said, if it comes to it, if they start falling down, like, in the next day or two, I have some double-sided tape, or I could even get some, like, spray adhesive or something to uh, keep it up there. Um, I have this lamp in here, which actually is 
worked out well. I'll show you when it's all done, but I had it kind of shoved back in the back there. And then I had like the desk there and stuff. So I'm going to put everything back in here and then I'll show you when it's all actually totally complete. Okie dokie, we are all set up again. So I'm going to go ahead and record these last few voiceovers. Touting your indefatigable beauty and utter splendor. It will undoubtedly fall short in acknowledging my admiration, but suffice it to say that I agree with the old adage. Paris is always a good idea. Well, hello and happy Saturday. So Jessica is hosting a little shindig at home with her sisters. And so I was like, all right, well, you're going to be all good here. I'm going to go and go to work because I have boxes in my office. Well, here, let me show you. These boxes right here have been sitting here for months because when we first got everything moved in and all ready to go, I got my desk set up. I got things out, you know, just enough to where the office is, is usable. But I have all this other stuff that I've been really trying to get done. But during a work day, it's hard to find the time to get it done. So I was like, all right, I have a few hours here. I'm going to go ahead and get, I have another desk. Um, I have a TV that I like to put up. I highly doubt I'll get to that. Um, I have these old brochures down here I need to go through. I've got so much. Um, I've got these pictures here, my travel posters I had in my old office as well. I need to hang those up. So I've got all this stuff to get done. Um, I need to get a bookshelf for my travel books there. But anyway, I've been dying to get this done. It's hard to find time during the workday. So I'm like, this is perfect. So if I can even just get my new desk built, which is actually the exact same desk as this, but I'll show you what I'm going to use it for when it's all set up and done. Uh, if I could get that done today, that would just be groovy. And I have a ton of other things to do. We have a bunch of stuff downstairs that I still want to kind of hang up on the walls. I need to put uh, Jessica's TV up in her office. Um, so there's still lots to do. But I'm like, if I could even just get that done today, I'll be pretty happy. The other thing is, I know in Vlogmas, I started talking about the garage. Well, it got too cold out because one of the things I wanted to do was the floor of the garage. And I need to hose it out. I need to clean it out. I need to do like an acid wash, all that kind of stuff. None of which I could do because it's been so cold outside and there's like a communal area. And I'm like, if I spray that all down and then squeegee out the excess water or whatever, it's going to turn to ice outside. So garage is being put on hold until springtime. Um, so it's going to happen at some point. But right, right now, while it's so cold out, I'm going to do some of this inside stuff. So uh, let's get to work on this desk. Let's get to work on this desk. Actually, hold that thought. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. Then I'm going to get started on the desk. <laughs> All right, I've got things cleared out a little bit, so I have enough space here. Let's get to work. Okay, so the desk is put together. It took me, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. Um, it was a little bit easier this time because when I made this one, I remember a couple years ago, it took me forever just because of it. It doesn't matter. There was a few weird things, but I knew how to do it this time, so it was much faster. So I need to uh, get all these cables. There's like a little cable management thing under there. Get all those put up and then start to get stuff on the desk. Um, the By the way, the reason I did it this way is because this desk was much less expensive than the L-shaped desk I was looking at. And I'm like, I kind of get it the best of both ways because I'm like, if I want this one to be a standing desk and this one down or both to be standing or whatever, I can kind of just do it however I want. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this one set up and then I'll show you kind of how I'm planning on using it here. Okay, so you can see here what I'm planning on doing. So I'm really excited about this. So every once in a while, I will actually score my own videos, not super duper often, but having it set up is a big part of the problem because up until now, every time I've wanted to try and do something in one of my own videos, I have to get the keyboard set up. I have to, it's always a whole big thing. Um, clearing other stuff off my desk and getting that out and it's always put away. So by having it out all the time, I can much easy, much more easily, I can score the videos much more easily. Anyway, um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a couple more monitors set up here, um, along with a stand where I can put my laptop and then sometimes I use my headphones if I'm scoring it, but like if the video's already edited, then I can actually use this to score it. So right now I just have it hooked up to my desktop over here. So you can see, I can use it here, like if I wanted to play. And it'll actually record it on Logic, and then I can use that for the actual video. And once I'm doing it here, like so, say I decide to do cinema strings, whatever here. So on and so forth. So I am really, really excited to have this out all the time. That 
paired with the new recording booth downstairs that obviously, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna use for voiceovers, but I can also use it like if I decide to record anything on guitar, not that I'm a very good guitar player, um, or ukulele, or uh, I just got a banjo, or anything else that I wanna play, um, I can record it down in that booth the same way I'm recording the voiceovers, and then this obviously goes directly into the computer, so that's a little bit different, but having that recording booth set up is gonna be awesome, so that way when I do wanna actually score my own videos, I've got it all set up, ready to go. <laughs> This is very, very exciting. So the one trade-off I had by doing it this way, um, even though it was much less expensive to do it this way with two separate desks, and I was like, you know, it might be nice to have, you know, one up and one down or whatever, um, but the L-shaped desk that I uh, that I was looking at would have obviously had the corner back here. And so that's the, the trade-off with saving money, but now I sort of have this little bit of dead space over here. So I've got this bookshelf back here, but there's still a lot of space here. So I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna end up doing with this. It, I might try and find something that fits in this area a little bit better. I don't know. So that's, like I said, that was sort of the trade off here, but I ended up saving a lot of money going this way. So I'm so happy I did it this way. And on this side, I still have room. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get an Ikea bookcase there. And I have so many different travel, um, uh, what sort of I'm looking for, like travel guides, like travel, yeah, like travel guides, you know what I mean? Like the Rick Steves books and all that kind of stuff. And at, I used to have them at home, but now I'm like, it honestly makes more sense here because um, this is obviously my office and that's, those are sort of more what I do for work. So those are going to go here in between there. I got to move that guitar and that kind of stuff, but that'll go there. So my travel posters are going to go up there. TV's going to go up there. I don't know what I'm going to do up there, but I got that space up there too. <laughs> the other thing I'm going to have to figure out at some point is what to do about, like I have this mat here that goes underneath my thing so I can easily roll my chair in and out. Obviously it only fits under this one. So if I'm using the same chair, do I move that over there? Do I get a separate one and like use that chair over here? Also, <laughs> this is my old keyboard. Do I use this chair here that I have at my other keyboard? <laughs> also, the reason I have this other keyboard here, this is the, this is the piano I learned how to play piano on. Um, and I got it as a graduation present for eighth grade. Uh, love it gonna keep it but it doesn't act it's because it's pretty old it doesn't actually link up with logic it doesn't work with apple um and so all of that stuff that i that i do i had to get a new keyboard for that but i still have this one because it's my it's my old school one i've had it forever but anyway i might have to figure out some sort i don't, I don't know if they sell maybe they sell like l-shaped ones i'll have to look and see uh what they have online see if i can figure out a way to have this whole area covered here because i guess i could do it without it but I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out on my own time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for wasting your time. All right. I've got a little bit more time left before I'm going to go. So debating on if I was going to get those travel posters hung up or the TV. I'm not going to get either one done, but what am I going to start on? I think I'm going to start on the TV. A, it'd be nice to have that done. But B, I can't really work on the posters until I know what I'm doing with the bookshelf here. So I think I'm gonna try and go ahead and get that started. Obviously, like I said, I'm not gonna get it done, but uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's keep going here. So the issue I'm gonna face here, and this is kind of what I need to figure out, I, I wanna hang it on this wall here. So that way, if I'm sitting here working, the TV will be above me, I can use it as an extra monitor, or I can have it on if I'm just watching the news while I'm working or whatever. It will be right above the desk here, but this is my desk. This is at fully the, the full height here. And so this is the highest it would ever be, and so I have a speaker too that I'm gonna to put there. And so if it's a little bit below it, that's fine. But my fear is if I put the TV here, I'm gonna be craning my neck up all the time when I when it's like down and I'm sitting down. So that's, I think I'm gonna cut out a uh, piece of cardboard that's the size of the TV and just tape it up and see how that feels before I actually start the mounting process here. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to kind of figure out if it's gonna to be too high. I guess if it comes to it, I could put my travel posters there and then put the TV here. But like I said, it'd be nice to be able to use that because like, again, when I'm editing and that kind of stuff, if I wanted to use the big screen, it would be right there. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it here. I think it's just gonna be a matter of trial and error as I go, get that up there and fuss with it for a little bit and see if that's gonna drive me crazy. All right, I think I can get that done today. Let's, let's get started on that. Okay, I cut out these two pieces of cardboard here. They're obviously a little crooked and whatever, but just trying to figure out, also they're about to fall down because I just had like a boxing tape, like shipping tape, and it's about to fall down. Anyway, uh, it's too high the way that I have it here. So when my desk is fully raised, here I'll show you what it looks like with it fully raised. I know it's kind of hard to tell here, but with the desk 
fully raised, that would be right at the top of the monitors there so you could still see the whole TV. But I don't know if I really need to be able to see the whole TV because how often am I standing there and watching? I don't know. Um, so I think I'm going to move it down. I've got quite a bit of wiggle room here because probably more often than not, I'll be sitting with it. So I'll be sitting and having the TV on. So I'm going to scooch it down, I don't know, maybe a foot here. And then hopefully that will be a little bit better. So when I'm sitting down and watching it, it won't be hurting my neck. But then a little bit more of the TV itself will be covered when I'm standing up. But I don't know. I just don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I might have to meet somewhere in the middle. I'll kind of futz with it. But Jessica actually just texted me and said that they're wrapping up at home. So I'm going to go ahead and head home for now and I'll, I'll get to work on this maybe some afternoon this week. But I'm really glad to have the desk done. I'm glad to at least start thinking about what I'm going to do with this TV here. So lots of good work done today, but I am ready to go. Well, hi. So it has been... I don't know, 10 days since I started filming this video. Um, I've been super busy with work and all that kind of stuff, so I haven't had a chance to do anything else in my office. But today is Friday. It is a beautiful day outside here, so I'm gonna spend all day inside. Um, but the I have three things left to do in my office before it's done. And then my goal is to get all those done by the end of today. It'll be a miracle if I get them done, but hopefully I can get them done because next week, starting next week, I'm going to start renovating the podcast room downstairs because we really want to start back up with our podcast, but I still have to renovate that room. But today, my goal is to get this office done. So let me show you. I have three things left to do. So as I mentioned before, I got to hang my TV. Then over this desk here, I have my like vintage travel posters. I need to get those hung up. And then I got my new bookshelf, my Ikea bookshelf, and I got to put that together and then get that up and then attach it, to, attach it to the wall, hopefully get the books on it. Those three things are the goal to get done by 5 p.m. today. It's 1130. Provided nothing crazy happens, I might get really close. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start working. Um, the hardest thing I think is going to be to hang this TV up. So I'm going to start with that because that'll be the most time consuming. And then I'll see how I'm doing with these two projects after that. I have to show you this really fast though. The other day I did get this done. <laughs> it's so silly and I don't know why. It just, it makes me smile. It's ridiculous. So I have these three paintings that I absolutely love these paintings. And so I have this like ledge up in my office and I didn't really know what to do with it. I was just going to leave it blank because you don't have to put anything up there. But I was like, okay, I have these three paintings. They're literally sitting down in a closet in the basement. I love these paintings. I'm just going to throw them up there. They look a lot better in person. Okay, not a lot better, but they look better in person than they're showing up on the screen here. <laughs> But I also, a lot of times when we travel, I buy these little things, these little like monuments. It's hard to see here in these tiny little things here. <laughs> and it's like, I'm just going to make a little village of the world up there, like monuments of the world. And so I have over here, I have Neuschwanstein, which I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but I actually have not been there. That's uh, my grandparents got that when they went and they left that to me. And then it's hard to see here. We've got the Statue of Liberty. We've got the Sphinx and a pyramid. That's the House of the Seven Gables. That's got the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower, and uh, Notre Dame. There's the Empire State Building. That's La Sagrada Familia. And then those little cars there my grandfather gave me. And I know it's so silly, and I know people are going to make fun of me for it, but it just, every time I look up there, it just makes me smile. <laughs> At least I, I promise it looks so much better in person. Okay, again, not a lot better, but um, camera is not really looking so great. But yeah, I don't care what you think. It makes me happy. <laughs> okay, I've been fussing with my little cardboard cutout I have, and I think I finally found the sweet spot where I'm going to put the TV. So this is my desk at the absolute highest it goes. I never have it this high. I mean, I just don't need to. Because even when I'm standing here, I mean, it is like straight on. So uh, when I have it as a standing desk, so you can see here, even if it is fully, fully uh, up, there's the speaker portion right there and it won't hit anything as long as I keep my hard drive out of the way. It'll be out of the way. So even if this goes all the way up, it won't hit the speaker there. But when I use it as a standing desk, I actually have it shorter than this, much shorter than this. So it'll go down. This is about where I have it when it's a standing desk. So it'll cover up the TV just a little bit. You can see there, like that would be the bottom of the TV, which if I'm standing here, I can still see almost all of it. Again, I know this is hard to see with my phone here, but um, that'll still be almost completely open there. And if I ever desperately needed to, I could move my monitors down or whatever, but that would be that. Here's a wider angle there. You can see what it would be like with the standing desk. And then let me show you where it'd be where I'm sitting. So 
if I'm sitting, my big concern was that I don't want to get like a crick in my neck looking up at it. And so right there would be, if I'm sitting down, let me see here if I can get it. If I'm sitting here, I'm like looking at my screens here and it's just slightly up. So I think that's the sweet spot, not too high. I think I prefer it to be a little bit lower, but I do stand at my desk often enough that I don't want it to be covered up. So I think that's the, that's our best option there. Okay, so now I actually have to hang the TV. Okay, here we go. All right, well, it's not gonna work. The, the, the mount I had, I already had from another TV that I was gonna mount a while ago and then never ended up doing that. So I was like, well, I've got this one already. I'll try and use it. And I was, <laughs> I was even holding it up there and I was like, I knew it wasn't gonna work. But I was like, well, I have it. I was just, I was too much of an optimist. Well, that or an idiot, I don't know. Maybe a little bit of both. So I went ahead and put it up. Doesn't really matter. It, Cause I thought, okay, well, this would be great that I can, you know, move it around. But when it's centered here, let me show you. There you can see when it's centered, just because of where the stud is, it can't go back all the way. And so it has to stick out this far. And in order for it to go back all the way against the wall, it either has to go too far to the left or too far to the right. And I knew it before I even put it up, but I put it up anyway, cause I'm dumb. So anyway, not that big a deal. I can pretty easily take this down and then uh, I can put the correct mount up. I've already ordered the correct mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on getting the speaker up and all the other things, cause it really won't affect this. Then it's just three bolts. I can take those bolts down, move it, and then put the new one up and then that'll be fine. Um, anywho, gonna go ahead and move on here. <laughs> Alrighty, so the speaker is mounted. Um, like I said, I'm waiting to get the new TV mount, so I'm gonna be good here for now. And then right now I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get my travel posters up. So I have my laser level. I'm gonna get that out and uh, try and kind of measure here and get them evenly up. I had them in my old office in two rows of four. And I'd like to do that again, but if I put them up and it looks like it's too much, I might end up doing three. I'll kind of have to futz with it. So um, yeah, I'm going to see how I, because I don't want my, feel like my office is already getting pretty busy and I don't want it to be too busy. So we'll see. Let's, 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 let's give it, give it the old try. Okay. I'm taking a quick break. Uh, I'm going to, I have an outlet here. I have to quickly replace. It was making some weird noises and I just saw it like sparking. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a break here from whatever I'm doing. This is now my number one thing. So I'm gonna quickly replace this outlet here. And you can see it's almost like it's melted there a little bit. So I'm just gonna go and replace this. Should only take me a couple minutes. And uh, like, yeah, look at that. It's like this, that one there is like weirdly small and it's like a little bit melted on the side. So I'm gonna take a minute, replace this and then we'll get back to our normal programming. One moment. <laughs> <sighs> okay, I've been defeated. I, long story short, the <laughs> outlet turned into a whole thing. So, I am going to have an electrician come and take a look at that, but that ended up taking up pretty much the rest of my afternoon. So for those keeping track, I wanted to try and get my TV up, the speaker up, those pictures, and the bookshelf done today. Um, I got none of it done. Almost none of it done. So that's to be expected, and uh, we'll wrap this up next week. <laughs> It'll be good. See you then. Well, howdy, howdy. It's me again. So... Uh, it is now yet another week later. <laughs> so the I ordered the TV uh, thing for the wall, got it, was about to put it up, and then I realized that these studs are 24 inches, not 16 inches. So in the past, I bought them and they came with like an extender so you could extend it out so that way they're actually in the stud. This did not come with that. It was just 16 inches, so I could not use it. So I have to send that one back. I've ordered yet another wall mount for the TV. <laughs> Anyway, that's supposed to be here tomorrow. So I have a little bit of time this afternoon. I'm going to try and with the last two things, get the pictures up and get the bookshelf up. I know I'm a broken record here. For me, there's weeks in between this, but you're seeing all this in quick succession. So anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to do one of those things first. I think the pictures. Yeah, let's do the pictures. Let's go. Okay, so I'm looking at spacing and that kind of stuff. And I think I've got about three inches. Obviously, they're not perfect, but about three inches in between each one there and it's gonna go over just ever so slightly that way because I'm gonna have the bookshelf go there. So I think that's about it spacing wise. I need to raise the desk and see how high I'm gonna put them. And then, like I said, I have two layers of them, so there'll be eight all together. But I think spacing wise, just kind of above this desk is gonna work well. Boom. 
All right, one project done. Very glad to cross that off the list. So I'm gonna see how far I get on the bookshelf today. I probably won't get it finished, but if I can at least get that started, I can wrap that up tomorrow and then hang the TV and this office will finally, finally be done. Bada bing, bada boom. And just like that, through the magic of television, the bookshelf is made. So the last thing to do here is to attach it to the wall and then I'm gonna get some books on it. I have most of them here. I still have some at home, but I'm gonna go ahead and get those on there. Done. Alrighty, the few books that I have here are already on there. And I'm just using this for travel guides. Then I have a, like my Egypt books down there. But they're here for like references and stuff like that, like when I'm writing a script and stuff like that. So this will just be travel guides, travel literature, things like that on this shelf. So I'll bring the rest here soon. But that is done. It is attached to the wall. Those are done. I still need to get like 3M strips or something to get a level on there and then make sure they stay straight. So I'm going to put some 3M strips or whatever on the bottom. New desk is built. Everything's ready there. I need to clean up those cords, but that's all good to go. Which means the last thing I need to do is the TV. That TV mount should have been delivered today so I can try and get that done very soon. And then my office will finally, finally be done. Okay, I never thought I'd see the day, but I think I'm actually 99.9% .9 done. I have two small things left to do, but I'll show you that in a second. But otherwise, it is done. Are you ready for the full reveal? Here we go. I feel like it looks a lot better in person than it does coming across in the camera. But overall, I am I am just so excited that it's all done. I have my mega desk set up. I have literally four screens. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm like a kid in a candy store. This is amazing. So couple last things that I still need to do um, that I'm not gonna include in this video, but just so you know, I have these cords here. They're, they're gonna drive me nuts. And the reason there's so much slack is because as the desk moves up and down, it needs to have more slack. But I, as of right now, I have too much. So I need to sort of, you know, raise it up, measure it out and see exactly where the, 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 they need to be hanging down. You know what I mean? Um, and then clean up those cords there. So that'll be hopefully looking a little bit cleaner. So that needs to be done. And then, oh, I have a, a an HDMI cable thing, by the way, that's going to attach that screen. I had to unplug it to plug that in just because I was messing with stuff. But I can literally have like Final Cut Pro up so I can be editing a video. I can have my timeline and stuff here. I can have my notes and then I can be scoring the video here all at once. This is Amazing. I am so excited about this. <laughs> um, and then what was the last thing? Oh, one more thing. I have my ukulele here and I'm going to put it, I think I have a little wall mount hanger I need to bring in and I think I'm going to hang it here on the side. So, so it's kind of out of the way, but as of right now, it just keeps sitting on like the countertop or the, the little tabletop here. So it'll be nice to have that put away. And I think that's it. I might eventually down the road get some curtains for that window there. Um, and I obviously need to like vacuum and clean up and stuff, but overall it's done. And I cannot wait to get to work in here. Um, one other thing I'm going to replace, I don't know if I already said this or not. I'm going to replace one of these posters up here. I think the Los Angeles one, sorry if you're from LA, but I think I'm going to replace that one with one that says Egypt or Cairo or something like that. Cause I think that is pretty darn neat. Um, anyway, other than that, I think it is officially done, done, done. So, a couple things. The, this is going to be the last Townhouse Tales video, specifically Townhouse Tales, because I got to thinking about it, and I was talking to Jessica about it, and as of right now, I'm like trying to, you know, manage two videos at once, at least two videos, because like I'm doing the Townhouse Tales videos, and then I'm also doing like, I'm going to try this year to do more like weekly vlogs and that kind of stuff, so I'm sort of balancing. I'm like, okay, what, what do I want in this one? What do I want in that one? Where am I in this video? Where am I in that video? So I think from now on, just to keep things simple, I'm just gonna do vlogs, like ideally weekly, and it'll have everything in it. So if it's a project I'm working on at home, like I'm, I'm hopefully gonna start doing our workout room here soon, I'll have that up. If I'm gonna do something at the townhouse, like I'm gonna start working on the podcast room actually today, That'll be uh, in the next video, so it'll all just be together, and then I don't have to worry about, you know, managing and balancing which videos are gonna go up and all that kind of stuff. So it'll just be a weekly vlog with everything in it. It'll have recipes, it'll have 
townhouse tail stuff. It'll have home projects. It'll have everything together. Um, so just so you know, that's what it's going to look like moving forward. And I think it's going to be easier. And then I can, I think, upload videos more often too, because it'll just be easier in my head. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. So this is going to go up. The uh, Europe videos are already up. And see, yeah, especially once this one goes up, this they'll, they'll all be done. I have one more that I'm going to do here soon. And it's going to be like when I did the Alaska videos, if you ever watch those, you'll see they're kind of a similar thing where I did each day or each you know portion individually. And then I did one called Alaska, the Great American Cruise, which is like an hour long special with everything in it, you know, just the, the travel parts. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the Europe videos. So if you've already watched the Europe videos and you see that go up, well, you don't have to watch it again unless you want to. Um, but it'll be just like a one hour long special with all the same footage, but just sort of packaged differently. And then I might eventually do some of the shorter videos. Again, if you've followed my channel for a long time, you know I do that where I'll have like La Sagrada Familia go up as its own separate video. So if somebody's searching for that, they can just watch that, you know, three or four minute portion of it instead of, you know, whatever. Anyway, so just kind of repackaging the same videos. Those will go up and then I'm going to start on Egypt, which I cannot wait. And I've got my new setup and I cannot wait to edit on this. So I am hopefully going to get those up here soon, um, probably within a couple months knock on wood. Um, and so that's going to be the next set of big videos and then the weekly vlogs and stuff coming like that in between. Uh, oh, and then I have Disneyland videos coming up here soon. Um, Justin and Lacey, our editors, are working on those Disneyland videos, so they're going to be doing those while I'm working on Egypt. So those will be coming up soon, so lots of awesome stuff coming out. Um, oh, one other thing, by the way, I am going to replace this because if you, you can see here, this office is really dark. It's overcast today, but my office, even with three lamps, is super duper dark. So I'm going to replace this ceiling fan that uh, it'll have one with a light in it and hopefully that will brighten stuff up, but I might even still need more lamps. Anyway, um, okay, I think that's it. I'm rambling. I know you're surprised. I hope you guys enjoyed this very last quote unquote townhouse tales video. The next one's gonna go live as a vlog. It had, I've already recorded a bunch of stuff. We went to the library, we went to, or I did a recipe. The podcast room is gonna be at least started in the next one. So more coming out soon. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.